Let's talk about the higher order function, map. When I first started learning map, I found it quite difficult. But now I can't really see why, because it's actually really, really easy. Let me explain what it is. Map is a higher order function. That sounds all strange and mathematical, but it's actually, again, really easy. A higher order function is any old normal function, but that either one takes a function as an argument or to returns a function, right? So if a function takes a function as an argument, then it is higher order. Or if a function returns another function, it is higher order. Or, of course, if it does both, it's higher order. Try not to make this complicated in your head. Taking a function as an argument is really nothing strange, and you'll see that it really is nothing strange. It's just, it's just that, depending on what language we come from, it might feel very unnatural because we're not really used to passing around functions. Let's do a concrete example. So, we're gonna do this in JavaScript. So map in JavaScript is available on the prototype of array. So if we would have an array, and on this, we have a function called map. So if I just invoke this, you'll see that this is an array. And if we take, if we uh, ask what's, what hides behind dot map, the REPL will say that, oh, what hides behind there is a function called map. So let's invoke that function. We'll use the same array, we'll say map, and then now here we're supposed to give a function. Now, classically in JavaScript, you write something like this, right? That's a function. But with ES6, we don't have to do this, so we won't even spend time with the old syntax because we simply have a shorter syntax. So the first thing we type out now is the name of the argument of the function. So I'll just call that n because n is usually used to denote a number, right? So n will be the argument of the function that, that we are giving as an argument to the function map. So let, let's type out the whole thing and you'll see what I mean. This fat arrow is part of the syntax, delimiting the argument part from the function body part. Now, what do we want to do? Let's say that what we want to do here is that we want to duplicate all of the numbers in the list. So the function here would simply be n times 2. Let's run that and then let's talk about it. So the output is 2, 4, 6, which makes perfect sense because the input list that we gave was 1, 2, 3, right? And so 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. And really, that's it. So map is a function on collections that takes a function as an argument and then runs that function with every item of the collection as input to the function and then returns a new array with all of the items that were returned from the function. It sounds really strange, but if you just look at the output, I think you'll understand. So in this case, the function map was run once, but the function given to map was run three times. The first time with n being 1, the second time with n being 2, and the third time with n being 3. If you get that, you understand map. Don't make it any more complicated. You understand map. Now go out and try to use it. But just to be sort of a bit more complete, let's, let's dig a bit more. So this is the argument to the function map, right? So map is a function that takes a number of arguments, right, delimited by this parentheses, and map, the particular function map actually only takes one argument, right? It may be more clear if we do this. Map takes a single argument, right, where this is the single argument, right? But of course, these parentheses are completely unnecessary. But this is a single argument, right, that we are giving to the function map. And this whole thing is a function. It's not the result of invoking, of running a function, it's an actual function. Uh, I'll show you more about this in, in a moment. And n here is the argument of the function that we are providing to map. And n times 2 is the implementation of the function, the function body, 
right? And you have to remember that the return keyword is sort of implicit when we are using the fat arrow syntax. So instead of explicitly typing return here, the, whatever is returned from this statement will be handled as a return from this function. Let's do this a bit more explicitly. When I'm saying that this is a function, I really mean that it's a function. It's not the invocation of a function. It's not an invoked function, it's an actual function. So let's declare this as, let's say that we have a doubler, right? So we say that there is a variable called doubler and in it we'll store a function that takes an n and doubles the n. Uh, we get undefined because that's the return value of evaluating this line. But we can now say doubler and we see that doubler exists in the global namespace as a function, right? And just to try this out, we'll invoke doubler with two, we get four, right? We'll invoke it with eight, we get 16. It seems to work. So we can now use doubler as a function that we pass to map. So let's create a new array. Let's do different numbers and we'll call map on this array. And instead of passing a function here, right, we will pass the doubler. Notice that I'm not doing this, right, because that would invoke the function doubler, right, which would give us an error because doubler returns a number, but map is expecting a function as an argument. So we're not supposed to invoke doubler, we're supposed to give the reference to the function doubler. And we'll run this. And that gives us 4, 8, 12, because 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 6 times 2 is 12. And of course, we're just using numbers now to make the, the example simple. It could just as well be strings. So we could have hello world, so an array of two strings, and then we map, and then maybe I'll name this argument msg for message. So let's just say that we want to add an exclamation point to whatever message we have. So, so we'll output the message, and then we'll add an exclamation point. And that works fine, right? We get hello exclamation point because we had hello and then we added an exclamation point. We get world exclamation point because we had world and then we added an exclamation point. And that's it. That's all you need to know about map in order to get started. And again, map is a higher order function. So whenever you come across another higher order function, just remember that it's higher order because it either takes a function as an argument or returns a function. And by remembering that, you will have a, a way easier time under, of quickly understanding how to use that particular function that you are trying to use. That's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. If you appreciate this video, I'd love it if you hit the thumbs up button. If not, please do let me know in the comments. And if you want more stuff like this, feel free to subscribe. See you.